Triple-A returned to Wichita in 1970 with the Wichita Arrows. It's a strike. Long sport, though. Jones goes flying into the air. Smith follows the same routine. Well, the Arrows were not a great team in terms of winning. They drew very well the first about three years that they were in existence. They were a farm club of the Cleveland Indians, and at that time, Cleveland was terrible. And in fact, there were times when the Arrows drew as many fans as the Indians did in Cleveland. Those were down years for the Cleveland Indians anyway. They had been tremendous teams in the period after World War II, right through well, the early 60s, always playing second fiddle to the New York Yankees, uh, winning the pennant in 1954 and then losing four straight in the World Series that year. But, but uh, you know, we get into the mid to late 60s on, Cleveland really was not a very good club, and so that reflected, I'm sure. There were some very notable players. Buddy Bell, who went on to a long major league career and, and as a manager, was third baseman for the Arrows. Third baseman, third baseman Buddy, Buddy Bell. Bell. Uh, Chris Chambliss was the first baseman who was very prominent in the major leagues for a long time. A few other notable players from the Arrows included Lee Smith and Bruce Souter. Lee Smith and another Bruce Souter who were among probably the two best relief pitchers in Major League history. They certainly are in that category. Lee Smith, the only pitcher in the Major Leagues with 25 and more saves each of the last four years. Souter from the belt to the plate, a swing and a miss! That's the winner! That's the winner! A World Series winner for the Cardinals! From top to bottom, every year, there always seems to be at least one budding superstar who will pass through. You know, they had five different affiliates during their uh, 14 years, 15 seasons. Uh, so they started with the Cleveland Indians. They had the Cubs, the Reds, the Expos, and the Rangers all during their their time in Wichita as a triple-A franchise. So we're getting a triple-A franchise with the, the surge, but it's not the first triple-A franchise we've had. We had the Arrows for, for 15 seasons. 